Tragic backstories for horror movie main characters are nothing new, but they sure seem to be more popular these days than they ever were before. You can't just be in the wrong place at the wrong time anymore. Lately, you've got to be someone who's been to hell and back in your personal life before literally going to hell and back. 2013's Evil Dead remake, reboot, whatever it is, features a group of friends heading to an isolated cabin, blah blah blah, you know the drill. But instead of everyone just going on vacation, this time around they're there because one of them is attempting to detox from a massive heroin addiction. And she's probably the hottest, healthiest, near-death heroin addict I've ever seen. They make a grotesque discovery in the basement and eventually uncover the Book of the Dead, which then unleashes more grotesque problems for these poor souls. I've said this many, many times, but it bears repeating. Remakes don't ruin childhoods, nor do they ruin the source material. There are good things about the original Evil Dead trilogy, and nothing about this film takes anything away from Sam Raimi's horror classics. But of course, comparisons to the original are valid, and I have a few. You know that one scene in the original film, the one with the tree, that Sam Raimi on occasion has regretted and said, yeah, that went too far, I shouldn't have done that? For some reason, they double down on that scene here, needlessly. The events that lead to the plot kicking into high gear in this one seem colossally stupid and easily avoidable. The only sense of style this movie tries to demonstrate is when it apes Raimi's original style, as if it's an Evil Dead trademark and not a Sam Raimi one. Look, do your own thing. Make your own movie. Every time you show a glimpse of something from the original film, all it makes me do is think how good that film is and how you're just copying it. A nod or two is fine, but when they keep coming and keep coming, all I can wonder is what the point of all of this is. And I'd like to note how well lit the movie is. Too well lit, actually. The shitty cabin has amazing light sources. Thankfully, the film contains a lot of practical effects and tanker trucks worth of blood, so that makes things somewhat tolerable for the horror crowd. But that's one of the only things I can point to as being a positive, and it's kind of a silly world we live in now where something like that is even worth a mention. So yeah, I don't get why this remake exists. It doesn't do anything better than the original films, and when it does try to get creative, it's just a copy of the creativity from the past. And again, that's not coming from a place where remakes are all shit because the originals are sacred. This Evil Dead just isn't good enough to stand on its own. Period. If you haven't seen it, you're probably going to want to someday out of sheer curiosity, but I simply cannot recommend that you do. The originals are readily available and superior in just about every way. 